joined a massive exercise in Poland as the army demonstrates its commitment to security in the region. Political tensions in Eastern Europe have been rising as Russian forces build up on the Ukraine border. Over a thousand troops, many based on Salisbury Plain, and 100 armoured vehicles are taking part in live fire demonstrations with the Polish army. Our reporter David Wood has been given exclusive access to the mission, which could turn out to be more important than a routine training exercise. Lined up and loaded with ammo, the troops are ready to take on whatever gets in their way. This is just part of Britain's rapid response battle group, on standby to be sent wherever it's needed, whenever it's needed. It's very much to, to reassure our East European allies of the importance of deterrence, um, and very much that's been the foundation of, of UK defence policy since 1949. So Eastern European states can be assured that if ever there was a threat to them, this cooperation could happen for real. Absolutely. More than 1,300 troops based on Salisbury Plain and 100 armoured vehicles are here in Poland for the exercise. Among them is tank operator Adam Feeney. It can be hard work at times, obviously they're very small and we're spending anything up to a month, six weeks on the tank. So. Everyone knows their job and we just, just get on with it. And do you enjoy it? Yeah, definitely. I don't know how you can't you can't enjoy it. It's a 60 tonne tank that can drive at 50, 60 kilometres an hour, fire a 120 mil main arm. And... Across a vast range in southern Poland, land troops, supported by their armoured vehicles called warriors, make preparations to take on the enemy. Check fire! Once attacked, they return fire. Both from behind makeshift bunkers, and from the Warriors. And at this point, the more powerful, bigger Challenger 2 tanks join the exercise. Their aim is to overwhelm the enemy before land troops can move in again. This may be just for practice, but it is designed to be as realistic as possible. Many of the troops here were deployed in Afghanistan or Iraq, where they were fighting insurgents. So this more traditional type of warfare is something different. Having spent the last um, decade uh, involved in a campaign which has um, been largely conducted from fixed uh, locations to learn some of those lessons about projecting power and uh, conducting expeditionary warfare. The exercise sees British and Polish troops working alongside each other and after months of training these soldiers say they're ready to turn practice into reality if they're ever called upon. Well, we can speak to David, who's in southern Poland for us. David, is this exercise just posturing by the army, or could they become involved in a conflict? The emphasis here really is about training, but there is no hiding from the fact that this is the British army flexing its muscles and showing that it can move troops, in this case from Wiltshire, out into Eastern Europe very quickly and with substantial force, as well as working alongside Polish counterparts. Now, they say that this is also a reassurance measure and helping Eastern European states have confidence that they will get support from NATO countries if they need it. But for the troops on the ground, though, it is just another chance to put training into practice. There is one crucial difference for them out here, though. They normally do this sort of training out in Canada. Here it is much colder. Temperatures at night are dropping below freezing. So they are having to learn to work together to use the heat from the tank's engine as they sleep at night to keep them warm. They're also having to learn to interact with troops from another country that, of course, speak a different language. Now, this sort of training between two NATO states isn't something that we've seen much of, but it's something we're likely to see even more of. And the army say, as years that come forward, they will be doing more stuff like this. But what we have seen this week is that the British Army can deploy troops and weapons quickly, and that it is willing to do so if it needs to. David.